Hi, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is The Developer Show. I'm standing here with Purnima Kochikar, Director for Google Play Apps and Games. Purnima, welcome to the show. Thank you, Timothy. Thanks for having me. Hey, it's great to have you here. First, I'd like to learn a little bit about your history and what brought you to Google Play. I know that you used to be VP at Nokia for developer communities. What is it that you learned about developers there that brought you to this role? What I loved about working with developers is that they are always optimistic. I don't think there's any job in the world that you're working with more optimistic people who mm. are trying to solve amazing problems. Uh, every day I talk to people who are saying, this is a new way of doing taxis, or a new way of doing education, or a new way of supplying food. So there's always a new way, and that's exciting. The second thing, what I love about developers, is that they'll take the technology or a platform that you have built and completely use it in ways that you have never imagined would happen. And so the two aspects of it, the surprises and, and the solutions, is what makes me excited about working with developers. That's one of my favorite things, too, is that uh, working with platforms, we always kind of have an idea of how developers are going to use it. And then they always find a way to surprise us, yes. especially with Google Play, because the, the landscape is so huge. There's always something every week where you're like, that's amazing. And I never would have thought of that. Yeah, exactly. And so it's it's amazing to be able to do this. Plus, you realize that you're actually making a difference in people's lives, both for the developer as well as for the user. Yeah. And so that helps too. It's interesting to talk about Google Play because developers building on Android already know about Google Play. But sometimes I wonder if they know all of the kind of nooks and crannies and some of the best features. Uh, do you have like maybe some of the your favorite lesser known features of Google Play that are great for app developers and publishers? Well, I don't know whether it's about lesser known features, but maybe we should talk about the things that people may not think about. Mm. Uh, number one thing uh, I, I believe that people should really think about is that your users really want your app to get better. And yeah. you should tap into them. <laughs> I think a lot of times we think, you know, I hear developers say, this is a really bad review, can you, can you make it go away? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, harness it. Your user really cares, so what can you do about it? But they're also telling you positive things. So on Google Play, one of the things we've really focused on is to how to get developers harness all the intelligence of the users to make better products. So everything from alpha beta testing to stage rollouts, and now we just introduce A-B testing, which we call store listing experiments. Mm -hmm. So harnessing the intelligence of your users, who are your biggest advocates and your users, uh, to make apps better, I think is something people don't use enough. Well, and we just mentioned an article on the show about uh, ratings and reviews in the Google Play Developer Console. And oh, I think we've done a lot of work there to bring that intelligence into a format that's actionable yes. and really like intelligible at the same time. Absolutely. One of the big things developers told us is that we love the fact that we can reply to reviews and that we can have a direct channel of communication to our users. However, there are so many reviews. How do I find the themes? Mm -hmm. How do I know areas that I should focus on? And what I find interesting is that there are folks who view it as something as a problem to fix, but a lot of people are now looking at as strengths that they need to leverage. Mm -hmm. So they're looking at it as a way to measure community sentiment management. So what we did is to say, how do we measure sentiment? And the tools we, that you're talking about allow developers to uh, you know, use Google Smarts to understand mm -hmm. all the hidden gems in your ratings and reviews. That's cool. Um, developers often ask me, and I'm sure they ask you as well, yeah. what's the secret? And coolest thing is you actually recently published the second version of the Secrets to App Success on Google Play, yeah. uh, which you should check out and will be linked in the show notes. However, uh, maybe you could give us a highlight. What's one of your favorite kind of insights from that book? The first thing we did was actually put it out linearly. Mm -hmm. So the nice thing about the book is that you can always just jump in where you are at the stage of what matters to you. So if you're in design, there is a section for design. If you're in place where you're building growth, there's a section for growth. If you're thinking about, should I use ads for monetizing, there's a section for that. It goes not just about Android and Play, but also looks at other Google technologies, like mm -hmm. ads, for example. So that's a huge plus. So the big insight I would like to point there is to really think about this, what it means to be not constrained by the market that you're in. Android is huge. Yeah. It's around the world. Okay. And you could be a global business no matter where you are. This book gives you interesting ways to tie from everything from how do you design for various markets, how do you localize, but also how you price. So wow. that I think is It's really inspiring. Yes. I mean, you know, think about it. Twenty years ago they would have needed a new management team mm -hmm. to figure out how to take a business global. 
Yeah. Now you could do it from your living room. And sales offices in multiple markets, whereas, again. Now you can. <laughs> That's great. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Timothy. This was fun. For more information about everything that we talked about, check the show notes for links. And of course, subscribe to this channel for more interviews like this. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next time.